In this lesson, you will learn how to solve multi-step equations. We will cover equations with like terms, variables on both sides, and equations that include parentheses. Our goal is to isolate the variable on one side, and to do that, we will use strategies like combining like terms, using the distributive property, and applying opposite operations. Let's start with one where we combine like terms. On the left side of this equation, 2x and 5x are like terms. So our first step is to combine them. 2x plus 5x gives us 7x, right? Bring down the rest. This is now a two-step equation. So the next step is to isolate the variable term. Notice that 8 is being subtracted from 7x. So to isolate 7x, we do the opposite of subtraction. We add 8 and we add to both sides to keep the equation balanced. Remember, whatever operation you do to one side, you must also do to the other side. Now on the left, negative 8 plus 8 is 0. They cancel each other out. This leaves 7x alone. On the right, 13 plus 8 gives us 21. This is now a one-step equation. So our final step is just to isolate x. Notice that x is being multiplied by 7. So to get x by itself, we do the opposite of multiplication. We divide by 7. And we divide both sides to keep our equation balanced. On the left, 7 divided by 7 is 1, so the 7s cancel out. This leaves x by itself. On the right, 21 divided by 7 is 3. So the solution to this equation is x equals 3. To check our solution, we plug in 3 for x, back into the original equation, and simplify. 2 times 3 is 6, and 5 times 3 is 15, right? Now, simplify left to right. 6 minus 8 is negative 2. Then, negative 2 plus 15 is 13. As you can see, both sides of the equation are equal, confirming that 3 is the correct solution. By the way, if you need a refresher on solving one-step or two-step equations, check the links in the description. Great. Now let's move on to our second example, this time with more like terms. On the left side of this equation, we have both variable and constant like terms. Let's start by combining the variable like terms. 3m minus 6m gives us negative 3m, right? Now combine the constants. 9 minus 4 is 5. Bring down the equal sign and 11. This is now a two-step equation. So next, isolate the variable term. Notice that 5 is being added to negative 3m. So to isolate negative 3m, we do the opposite of addition. We subtract 5. And of course, we subtract from both sides to keep the equation balanced. Now on the left, 5 minus 5 is 0. They cancel out, leaving just negative 3m. On the right, 11 minus 5 gives us 6. This is now just a one-step equation. So finally, get m by itself by dividing both sides by negative 3. On the left, the negative 3s cancel out, leaving just m. On the right, we get negative 2. So the solution is m equals negative 2. To double check, plug in negative 2 for m into the original equation and simplify. You can pause the video and go through it if you need to. Both sides match, so our solution is correct. Now, what if the variable is on the right side of the equation? No worries. It doesn't matter which side the variable is on. We will solve it the same way. First, combine the like terms. Negative p plus 7p gives us 6p, right? Then, bring down the rest. This is now a two-step equation. So next, isolate 6p by adding 1 to both sides. On the right, negative 1 plus 1 cancels out, leaving 6p. On the left, 41 plus 1 is 42. Finally, get p by itself by dividing both sides by 6. The 6s cancel out, leaving just p. 42 divided by 6 is 7, right? So the solution is p equals 7. To check, plug in 7 for p in the original equation and simplify. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you found this video helpful so far. It really supports the channel and helps more students learn. Up to now, all our equations had variables only on one side. 
but in the next example we have variables on both sides of the equation. In this case, our first step is to collect all the variables on one side of the equation. Let's collect them on the left side. To do that, we need to move 4n from the right side to the left. Notice 4n is positive on the right, meaning it's being added. To move it to the left, we do the opposite of addition. We subtract it from both sides. Now let's simplify. On the left, 9n minus 4n gives us 5n. Bring down the minus 3 and the equal sign. On the right, 4n minus 4n is 0. They cancel out, leaving us with 17. This is now a two-step equation, right? So next, isolate 5n by adding 3 to both sides. On the left, these cancel out, leaving 5n. On the right, we get 20. Finally, divide both sides by 5 to get n by itself. The 5s cancel out, leaving just n. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. So the solution is n equals 4. To check, plug in 4 into the original equation and simplify. 9 times 4 is 36, and 4 times 4 is 16, right? Then, 36 minus 3 is 33, and 16 plus 17 also equals 33. It checks out. Nice. Let's try another one. This time we have got variables on both sides and some like terms too. Feel free to pause the video and give it a shot. The first step is to combine the like terms on each side of the equation. On the left, k minus 8k gives us negative 7k. On the right, 11 plus 3 equals 14. Now it is just like the previous example, right? So next, collect the variables on one side of the equation. Let's collect them on the left by adding 6k to both sides. Why do we add? Because 6k is being subtracted on the right, and doing the opposite moves it over to the left. Now on the left, to negative 7k plus 6k gives us negative k. On the right, these cancel out, leaving just 14. This is now a two-step equation, right? So next, subtract 4 from both sides to isolate negative k. On the left, the 4s cancel out, leaving negative k. On the right, we get 10. Finally, divide both sides by negative 1 to get k by itself. Why do we divide by negative 1? Because negative k means negative 1 times k, and we undo multiplication by dividing, right? So on the left, the negatives cancel out, leaving k. And on the right, we get negative 10. So the solution is k equals negative 10. To check your solution, plug in negative 10 into the original equation and simplify. Both sides are equal, so we are good. Perfect. Now let's move on to an equation that includes parentheses. In this case, the first step is to remove the parentheses using the distributive property. That means multiplying the number outside the parentheses by each term inside. Here, we distribute the 3 to both y and 5. 3 times y is 3y, and 3 times 5 gives us 15. Bring down the equal sign and 18. This is now just a two-step equation, right? So next, isolate 3y by subtracting 15 from both sides. On the left, the 15s cancel out, and we are left with 3y. On the right, 18 minus 15 is 3. Now get y by itself by dividing both sides by 3. This gives us y equals 1, right? Let's check it. Plug in 1 for y in the original equation. Inside the parentheses, 1 plus 5 is 6. Then, 3 times 6 is 18. Both sides match, so our solution is correct. Nice. Let's look at another one, but this time it has like terms too. Feel free to pause the video and give it a try. Just like before, the first step is to remove the parentheses using the distributive property. Distribute the 4 to both 2n and negative 1. 4 times 2n is 8n, and 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Bring down the rest of the equation. Next, combine the like terms on the left. Negative 4 plus 7 gives us 3, right? It is now just a two-step equation. So next, isolate 8n by subtracting 3 from both sides. 
On the left, the threes cancel out, leaving 8n. Negative 29 minus 3 gives us negative 32, right? Now divide both sides by 8 to get n by itself. The 8s cancel out, leaving n. Negative 32 divided by 8 is negative 4, right? So the solution is n equals negative 4. To check, plug in negative 4 back into the original equation and simplify. By the way, if you want to learn how to solve equations with fractions, check the link in the first comment below. Let's try now a slightly more challenging one. This equation has a negative sign in front of the parentheses, and it includes variables on both sides and some like terms too. First, remove the parentheses on the right using the distributive property. Distribute the negative sign to both m and negative 3. Remember a negative sign in front of parentheses means we are multiplying by negative 1. So, negative 1 times m is negative m, and negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. Bring down the rest of the equation. Next, combine the like terms on the right side. Negative m plus 4m gives us 3m, right? This is now an equation with variables on both sides, just like the ones we solved in examples 4 and 5, right? So next, collect the variables on one side of the equation. Let's collect them on the left by subtracting 3m from both sides. On the left, m minus 3m gives us negative 2m. On the right, these cancel out, leaving just 3. This is now a two-step equation, right? So next, Isolate negative 2m by adding 9 to both sides. On the left, the 9s cancel out, leaving negative 2m. 3 plus 9 equals 12. Finally, divide both sides by negative 2 to get m by itself. The negative 2s cancel out, leaving just m. 12 divided by negative 2 is negative 6, right? So the solution is m equals negative 6. To check, Plug in negative 6 back into the original equation and simplify. By the way, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I would love to help you out. All right, let's move on to a new equation. This one's got parentheses on both sides. So first, we will remove the parentheses on both sides using the distributive property. On the left, distribute the 2 to both 3x and 4. 2 times 3x is 6x and 2 times 4 is 8. On the right, distribute the 5 to both x and 3. 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times 3 is 15. Now notice, there are like terms on each side of the equation. So the next step is to combine them. On the left, 6x plus x gives us 7x. On the right, 15 minus 1 is 14. Next, collect the variables on one side of the equation. Collect them on the left by subtracting 5x from both sides. 7x minus 5x gives us 2x. On the right, these cancel out, leaving 14. Now it is just a two-step equation, right? So next, isolate 2x by subtracting 8 from both sides. The 8s cancel out, leaving 2x. 14 minus 8 equals 6. Finally, get x by itself by dividing both sides by 2. This gives us x equals 3, right? To check, you plug in 3 into the original equation. First, simplify inside the parentheses on both sides. Then, multiply. Next, add and subtract. It checks out. Awesome. One more to go, and this one brings it all together. Pause the video and give it a shot. First, Remove all the parentheses using the distributive property. Start from the first parentheses on the left. Distribute the 3 to both p and negative 2. 3 times p is 3p, and 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Then, remove the second parentheses on the left by distributing the negative sign to both p and 6. Remember a negative sign in front of parentheses means multiplying by negative 1. So, negative 1 times p is negative p, and negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. On the right, distribute the 4 to both p and negative 7. 4 times p is 4p, and 4 times negative 7 is negative 28. Notice, there are like terms on the left side. So next, combine them. 
3p minus p is 2p, right? And negative 6 minus 6 is negative 12. Next, collect the variables on one side. Collect them on the left by subtracting 4p from both sides. Now on the left, 2p minus 4p gives us negative 2p. On the right, these cancel out, leaving negative 28. Now it is just a two-step equation. So next, isolate negative 2p by adding 12 to both sides. These cancel out on the left, leaving negative 2p. Negative 28 plus 12 gives us negative 16. Finally, divide both sides by negative 2 to get p by itself. The negative 2s cancel out, leaving p. Negative 16 divided by negative 2 is positive 8. So the solution is p equals 8. To check, plug in 8 into the original equation and simplify. Perfect. It checks out. Nice. Here's a quick recap of the steps for solving multi-step equations. First, remove any parentheses using the distributive property. Next, combine like terms on each side of the equation. Then, collect the variables on one side if they appear on both sides. After that, isolate the variable term. Finally, get the variable by itself. But wait, if you want to learn how to solve linear equations with fractions, click the video on the screen. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe.